Eight. Mike's Bikes is the largest bicycle retailer on the West Coast, but they are into a lot more than selling bikes. The owners, Matt Adams and Ken Martin, also spend part of their time traveling to countries like Ghana, Botswana, to help the local population in those countries uh, improve everyday life with the help of the bicycle. Matt and Ken join us this morning from their store in Palo Alto. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Ross. Good morning. Yeah, uh, uh, Matt, I'm sorry. I called you Mike, I think, when I introduced you there. But how did you get involved in these countries in Africa in the first place? Um, some people that we work with um, have done some other projects in Africa, and they invited us uh, to go over there and work with local dealers in Ghana to help them improve their business. Uh, we believe strongly in, in the bicycle and what it can do. Um, and there's no, more, there's no place where it's needed more than in, in countries like Ghana. So it was a fantastic opportunity. When you arrived over in Ghana, Ken, what were the conditions like? Uh, the conditions were uh, a lot different than what we had expected. Um, the infrastructure for bikes really was non-existent. Um, the deal over there is that most of the population will never be able to afford a private car. Uh, the public transit is, is really nothing to speak of. So that leaves the, really the only option is to travel around by foot. And, uh, and we really saw an amazingly small number of bikes. So when we saw that the difference we could make by, by uh, teaching the dealers over there the way that we do business and how to, how to grow their business and how to get more bikes on the ground, we saw that it was a huge opportunity to make a huge difference to people. I'm looking at some uh, video now that these look like very primitive bikes that they're, they're riding on. Is this what they were using before you got there? Yeah, there's, there's literally no bicycle industry to speak of there. There's a few uh, donate-a-bike programs that get some old used bikes into the country, but there's just zero bicycle market there, and that was what we were there to do, was to help develop that, to help attract suppliers and to bring some quality product into the country. How long have you been doing this? Uh, we just started this year uh, with two projects, the one project in Ghana and then another project that we have going on in Botswana where we're, it's a more one-on-one -on -one relationship with a single shop. So where we use a bicycle primarily for recreation in this country. I mean, they're really using it to uh, just get through life and even with commerce. Oh, it, right. It's, it's amazing what it can do for the local economy. The people there can, can expand how far they can bring their goods. Um, the healthcare side of things, um, obviously AIDS is a huge issue there. Uh, and healthcare workers can cover that much more ground and see that many more patients uh, with the bicycle. So it's an extremely important tool over there. How, yeah, about, we, how about the bicycles uh, that you use over there? I mean, the roads can't be uh, uh, like they are over here. Is it a different built kind of it bike? Is, it is a different built kind of bike. It's, it's kind of like a tank, really. It's a bike that's made, uh, most of the bikes that we are involved with are bikes made specifically for West Africa. But that's the beautiful thing about the bike is, uh, you know, you don't need a paved road. You don't really need much of a road at all. These bikes can go over just about anything and you can cover so much more ground. Yeah, it, you know, personal mobility and freedom are these things that we take for granted over here. But, you know, to give someone the ability to, to, to get a kid the ability to get to school or an AIDS worker the ability to see four times the number of patients in a day is just huge. And it doesn't, the, the roads are really are immaterial. Yeah, wh what's the reaction when you arrive with the, how many bikes have you taken over there so far? And what's the reaction when you arrive with them? Well, we're not really bringing the bikes over. We're, what our role is, is to help these guys expand their business and expand the industry. The, the problem is that even the people who do want to buy bikes don't really have uh, a, a way to do that or a place to do that because there really is no network of bike dealers. So that, that's our role is to help these dealers get up and running uh, in Ghana and Botswana uh, and give people who, who are willing to spend the money and who, you know, who, uh, who do recognize the, the, the value of a bike a place to actually go do it. Yeah, and not only uh, expand the, the, uh, the dealerships and everything, but how to repair these things. I mean, we all know once in a while you've got to right. take them in to be fixed. Right, so we spent a lot of time training uh, the mechanics on service techniques, showing them um, you know, how to use the proper tools that we use. Uh, we're involved right now in a project to help upgrade their tools so they can work it more efficiently and, and provide better quality service because, yeah, the conditions there are poor for bikes, so they need lots of upkeep. Well, I'm sure there are a lot of people watching this morning that would like to help in some way if they could help you get bikes over there to uh, Ghana and Botswana. They can go online to mikesbikes.com or of course, ktvu.com and click on web links to uh, get more information. Matt and Ken, thank you. Good work you're doing. Thanks very Appreciate much. Appreciate Thank and you very much. Right. How many stores do you have? Might as well give it a hit for Mike's Bikes. We got six stores, uh, five in the Bay Area, one up in Sacramento. Good for you. Congratulations. Thank you, thank guys. You. Thank Take you. Care. Time now is uh, 8.52. Let's go back to the desk.